Jackson, a 1-0 defeat to Ross County this evening. In the end, do you feel we deserve more out of the game? Uh, I felt that the 1-0 the defeat, I felt like we started the game really well, so it's, it's just disappointing to come away with it. And, um, we came and we took the game to them, but we knew in the second half that, that Ross County were going to come out and uh, try and go for the win. So, But it's, it is disappointing losing the game, obviously. Uh, we'll try to get the win, but no, nah, it's, it's disappointing. We obviously started the game very fast and had a lot of chances. Your goalkeeper made a good save and Matty Todd hit the post. Uh, as the manager said, on another day, one of those chances maybe goes in the back of the net and it, it's a totally different game. Nah, just, I think the first half we, we attacked the, the goal quite a lot. Um, it's just unfortunate that uh, one of the chances didn't, didn't go in the back of the net, but we, we kept fighting, we kept going for it, and uh, it just didn't, it wasn't today. Uh, it wasn't to be today, so... Uh, now nah, we'll move on to Saturday and hopefully get back to getting a win. The first half was obviously a complete kind of um, comparison to the second half. You knew Ross County were going to come out and and you know try and improve and impress their their fans at home. So um, how how difficult was the second half compared to the first? Because it seemed like a totally different game. Um, I felt the second half was more more of a battle. I think we were just lost a wee bit of composure at times um, that invited pressure on ourselves, but. Um, as I said, the score from they had a few corners and a few chances that we tried to deal with, but the, the score from a corner, and, um, it's just sometimes you can't really do much about it, and the boys headed it in. Um, I think the first half we moved the ball about, uh, we got time and space on the ball, which helped us move it about. Um, and then the second half we, we didn't really do that. Um, they put a bit of pressure on us and stopped us playing and stopped, got closer to us. So. Um, no, nah, it, was, it was two different halves, to be fair. Do you take all to heart from the last two away performances? I know we've only picked up one point out of six, but the performances, certainly from the United game a couple of weeks ago, are much improved, so you, do, do you take all the positives from that? Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like the efforts there, I, feel, I feel, just feel like just luck's not on our side just now. We just need to get a goal and um, just hopefully keep, keep creating chances. And it's, uh, We just need a wee rubber luck just now, so... Hopefully that comes in the next few games. Four games to go and um, 12 points to play for. It's going to be a, a battle if we're going to finish in the top four, but while it's mathematically possible, the manager says um, the players will continue to fight, and I suppose that will be the message that you'll send out to the fans as well. I definitely will fight uh, right to the end. Obviously, it's still mathematically possible for us to, to get in the playoffs, and we'll, we'll try and do that. Hopefully, we can go on a run now that we've, uh, we've, been, playing, we've been playing well, so hopefully it just turns and... Uh, well, we've got a big game next week and hopefully we can put it right and, and it was good for the fans coming up in the numbers and it's just unfortunate that we, we couldn't get a win for them or get anything from the game but um, just if they keep showing their support we'll, we'll keep fighting for them and keep trying to get, uh, get a win Because of the situation like I said with the playoffs does it almost make it easier that you're going into a game against Falkirk one that everybody's going to be up for does that almost help when you know that the, you need to go out there and get a win? Uh, every game's been massive, so every time I've played Falkirk, I feel like um, it's, it's been that extra wee bit that, because it means so much to the club and stuff, I feel like it's, it gives you a massive lift and it'll be a cracking game and hopefully we can come away with the result. <coughs> and just finally, um, you mentioned the supporters there, long journey up on a Tuesday night, great numbers, like you said, a couple hundred of them. Uh, what's your message for them heading into the weekend? Um, it's disappointing that we, we couldn't get a win for them or get anything from the game, but it's... it's it's always pleasant to see after the game that there's, they're still there in their numbers and they're cheering us on and hopefully we can put things right next week for them and, and get them a win. Perfect, thanks.